Namaste, welcome to the lecture series on the subject basic thermodynamics module 5 uh, part 1 ideal gases lecture number 4 myself Dr. Yan Satish Kumar associate professor of mechanical engineering Kenara engineering college. The content for this topic is about the adiabatic mix mixing of the perfect gases uh, which are initially at the same temperature and uh, pressure ok. So, we will see what are the properties to be studied here. Consider several gases of mass Ma, Mb, Mc etcetera at the same temperature and pressure confined in separate depart, compartment of an adiabatic vessel. So, you have to imagine uh, a adiabatic uh, vessel here uh, which is made up of a number of compartments ok like this and in each compartment you have the constant gases A, B, C and so on uh, all at the same temperature T and uh, pressure. Uh, P, but only thing is they are confined in uh, di uh, different compartments of an adiabatic uh, vessel. So, when you open this uh, partition or rather when you remove these partitions, uh, all the gases mix with each other uh, and they attain a new equilibrium state. So, you have to remove the partitions and allow them to mix. Since a adiabatic mixing process I mean the mixing process is adiabatic. So, there is no heat transfer and also there is no work transfer involved uh, across the boundary of the system. So, you can write delta u is equal to 0 ok because there is no work transfer there is no heat transfer. So, delta q is equal to delta u plus delta w. So, delta w is 0 delta q is 0. So, delta u is also 0 that means the initial internal energy is equal to the final internal energy. Now, the resulting temperature of the mixture remains the same as that of the each gas before mixing because initially you have taken that at the same temperature even after mixing the temperature remains same that means the process becomes isothermal right. So, now each gas after free expansion will attain the partial pressure of the mixture. Now, earlier they were occupying less volume, now they are occupying the entire volume of the mixture. So, their pressure will drop ok after expansion and now the pressure of the individual components is nothing but the partial pressure and they occupy the uh, entire volume of the vessel. By using the perfect gas equation, uh, we can show that the total pressure of the mixture is equal to the initial pressure uh, P of the each individual gas. Now, as the mixing process is irreversible, according to the second law of thermodynamics, the entropy of the mixture increases. So, for any irreversible process, entropy increases, that is what you studied in the module 3. So, assuming constant specific heats, the change in entropy of the gas A, okay, this is for gas A, uh, you can write it as delta S A is equal to M A into C P of A ln T 2 by T 1 minus R A ln P A 2 by P A 1. So, here since it is an isothermal process T 1 is equal to T 2. So, this term it becomes 1, L, I mean T 2 by T 1 becomes 1. So, ln of 1 is 0. So, first term gets cancelled. So, the entropy change of the gas A, this is gas A, okay, constant gas A may be written as delta S A is equal to minus M A into R A ln P A 2 by P A 1. So, here 1 and 2 are the states, partial pressure of A at state 1 that is P A 1 and P A 2 is nothing but the partial pressure of A at state 2. Now, it is, okay, that is about the explanation about that subscript. Similarly, the change in entropy of the gas B, you can write as delta S for B is equal to minus M B R B into L n P B 2 by P B 1. 
as the total change in entropy of the mixture by considering uh, only two constant gases. So, you can write as delta S for the mixture is equal to minus M A R A into L n P A 2 by P A 1 minus M B R B into L n P B 2 by P B 1. Now, here the this ratio of these pressures you can also write it as the mole fraction uh, for A as Y A and for B as Y B. So, we will get minus taking common outside M A R A into L n Y A plus M B R B into L n Y B and this is only for two gases. So, there may be uh, n number of gases we can keep on writing the expression continuous like that and all this taking place at the constant temperature and uh, pressure. So, you can write uh, the general expression as delta S m is equal to minus summation from i to n m i r i l n y i. So, it is clear from the above equation that the increase in entropy of the mixture for perfect gases depends only on the number of moles. You see, you see here uh, the mass given when the given mass is constant r is constant. So, it is purely depending upon the uh, mole fraction that means it is depending upon the number of moles of the uh, component gases and is independent of the nature of the individual gases okay that is for the adiabatic mixing now the mass and volume of the mixture uh, you can write it as m is equal to summation of the mass of the individual constant gases and volume of the mixture is equal to uh, volume of A plus volume of B plus volume of C. So, here uh, M A, M B, M C are the initial masses and V A, V B and V C are the initial volumes of the each constant gas uh, respective because initially they were in different compartments and when the compartments are re uh, removed, so they occupied the entire volume V M right. So, total volume is equal to V A plus V B plus uh, V C. Since during the mixing process there is no heat and work interaction the change in internal energy of the system is 0 that is the sum of the internal energies of the individual gases before mixing is equal to the internal energy of the uh, mixture that is u m is equal to u a plus u b. So, the internal energy of the mixture u m is nothing but internal energy of the gas A before mixing plus internal energy of the gas B before mixing and so on. Now, if you take 0 degree as the reference point, then M A M M sorry M M into C V M into T M this is nothing but mass into specific heat into change in temperature M C V D T, but D T we are written only T m because the others other temperature initial temperature is taken as the 0 as the reference. So, T m minus 0 is T m. Similarly, you can write fit for M a into C v into a into T a plus M b into C v into uh, C v b for uh, C v for b into T b. M m C v m T m for the mixture M a C v T for a plus M b C v T b for b. Now, you can write the temperature of the mixture from this expression T m as M e into C v for A into T a plus M b C v for B into T b divided by M m into C v for the mixture. Here T m is the temperature of the mixture and if you want to express it in the molar uh, molar basis, so then uh, C v value you have to take in molar unit and here in place of mass you have to write the number of moles of A, here number of moles of B and number of moles of the mixture. Now, using equation of state the final pressure of the mixture on the mass basis can be written as uh, P m is equal to M m into R m into T m by P m that is using the equation of state P v is equal to M R T. So, here R m is the specific uh, gas constant for the uh, mixture. On molar basis the pressure of the mixture is nothing but P m is equal to N m into R bar into T m by m. So, there is a uh, difference. Since it is an irreversible adiabatic mixing process the entropy must increase. So, that all of us know since the change in entropy of the mixture is equal to the sum of changes in entropies of the individual gases. 
So, we can write delta S m is equal to delta S for constant gas A plus delta S for constant gas B and so on. Now, let us see how to find the change in entropy of the uh, individual gases. So, for that what you have to do is you have to consider each of these individual gases to exist alone. Actually, we considered as uh, there are compartments. So, in each of these compartments there are different constant gases. Now, think that only one small compartment is there in that one gas is there and it is allowed to expand from its initial state uh, to the temperature and volume of the mixture. So, automatically the pressure drops and it becomes the partial pressure of the constant in the mixture and the gas volume uh, occupies the uh, or attains the mixture temperature and also occupies the mixture volume. So, you can write the changes in entropy for the constant gas A uh, as delta S A is equal to M A into C P for A into L n T M by T A minus R A into L n P A 2 by P A 1. Now, here P A 1 is the initial pressure of the gas A and P A 2 is the partial pressure of the gas A in the mixture. You see P A 1 is the initial pressure of the gas A whereas P A 2 is the partial pressure of gas A in the mixture and uh, similar expression you can write for B as delta S B is equal to M B into C P for B into L n T M by T B minus R B into L n P B 2 by P B 1. Now, on molar basis you can write on molar basis we can write delta S bar A is equal to N A into C P bar for A into L n T M by T A minus R bar into L n P A 2 by P A 1 and similarly you can write the expression for the constant gas B. Okay. Uh, now, with this uh, I conclude uh, this lecture number 4 and in continue will continue in the lecture number 5. Thank you.